This assessment asks us to predict which of the following acid-base reactions would be faster based on having a higher value of A, the frequency factor. Recall that the frequency factor is the proportion of productive collisions, that is, the collisions that will give a productive reaction. So what we're really looking at then is the difference between the two. And here are the two differences. One, here's the proton that we're removing, and notice in the top molecule there's nothing present here. Whereas the bottom molecule has this large, bulky, tert butyl group. So this hydrogen at the top is going to be a little bit less sterically hindered. Similarly, if we look at the base that's being used, this nitrogen has two methyl groups coming off of it, whereas this nitrogen has two bulkier or larger isopropyl groups. And so when we look at the collisions that can happen, here's a smaller base colliding with a less sterically hindered proton versus a very bulky base colliding with a much more sterically hindered proton. The reaction between the less sterically hindered base, uh, I'm sorry, the less bulky base and the less sterically hindered proton will give productive collisions more often. And so this one here, we would expect to have the higher value of A.